everybody, Captain Murphy here from PiratesAhoy.net. Today's update is going to concern with how the vessels are going to be pushed through the water using physics. The, most of the time when you create vessels in games, you're going to uh, essentially just move the object. They're, they don't normally move along with a physical impulse. What we've done is, because I pretty much ditched the entire idea of using the vehicle object inside of CryEngine, what I've got is a basic entity. And this is going to allow us to have a little more flexibility, but it also made that we don't have engines. So you can't just tell you know, the driver to go forward and, the, and then tell the boat to have X number of directional speed. So instead what we got is the ability to apply a physical impulse. And a physical impulse is just literally like applying pressure to the sails. The sails put pressure on the mast, the mast puts pressure on the hull, and it drives the vessel in the direction of the wind. So what we're doing is we're trying to mimic a actual vessel's movement based on physical impulses. So what I've got here is on the left, I've got a vessel that weighs approximately 225,000 kilos. It's a regular light hull, but it's also got 120,000 uh, kilos of cargo. On the right, I've got a vessel that weighs just a uh, much lighter 95,000 kilos. And I wanted to see whether or not the physical impulse was a physical impulse to the existing weight or if it was just like to an object and it just drove the object forward. I wanted to see whether or not it corresponded to the mass of the vessel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on uh, physics here. But before I do, I wanna point out that when I did this, I created a rotational impulse. So this allows us to determine what pressure is being placed on the mass by the sails in a specific direction, whether it's pushing forward, pushing aft, or pushing to the starboard or port sides, and what pressure each direction has got amount of, that amount of force. So we can tell that there's a certain amount of rotational pressure is also being applied. Now, rotational pressure doesn't apply to the directional um, force of the vessel. So if we turn on just rotational pressure, but we don't apply a directional impulse, the vessel just heals. Um, if we apply directional pressure in addition to the rotational pressure, then it makes it look like the vessel is moving and responding to the wind, which is what we're looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on physics, and you'll see that I've applied the same amount of pressure for both of them. And I've also applied the same amount of rotational pressure. And what happens is the vessel on the left is going to move slower and it's also going to heal less because it has more mass. Uh, you can go back to some of my other stability videos and see that as I applied more weight to the vessel, the responding, what's called the writing moment, was less severe. So the vessel on the right, being that it weighs less, its writing moment is more severe. So you're going to see that it actually heals much further during the sailing. So here we go, we're gonna turn this on. And you can see the vessel on the right immediately takes off much faster. So you can see that the weight of the vessel does have a pretty good effect. I've also got the vessel on the left, um, what's called physics damping a little bit. And it's dampened just so that it responds a little slower to wave movements like a heavier vessel would. If you look at their mass, the one on the right has more pitch or more heel to it because it weighs less. So that same amount of rotational force is applying more heel than the one on the left because this one weighs more. Now this also is going to apply for turning. And it just happens that if we apply that same amount of rotational force, instead of applying it in a axes for the mast, we apply it in the axes of the vessel's turn. We can actually make the vessel's turn by telling it that if we have X number of pressure rotational energy, so if the rudder was you know, hard over, we can actually make the vessels respond accordingly. So you can see that the right vessel weighs less, has the same amount of rotational pressure on the rudder, it's turning faster than the vessel on the left. And these two will pretty much turn inside of each other almost all day because nothing changes. It's always just playing forward and always playing a turn. So if real wind was involved, then it would actually be calculating based on where the wind was coming from at the time. But you can see that we've got a rotational pressure and it's applying in both the Z and the Y axes. So we've got an angle to the wind and we've also got a turning speed being applied. So hopefully we can get a sailing interface designed before too long and have these vessels uh, sailable by the players. And as soon as we can get some cloth sails on there, we'll be uh, in good shape. All right, hope you guys found it educational. Thanks.